So Sadhguru, what are some of the things that, you know, all of us who are here listening to you, what are the one or two things that we can do tomorrow, which will, which will increase this level of awareness, perception, thoughtfulness? You're talking about a takeaway, huh? In a sense, but you know, uh, uh, an enduring takeaway. It's not light-hearted. It's not, uh, you know, because we've, you know, we've heard a lot, and I'm sitting here and saying, okay, so what do I do differently tomorrow? Let's say to learn A B C, the 26 alphabets. At least if you learn the Indian, the Indian languages, you know, 54, whatever, 26 alphabets. How long did you take? To learn to write them properly in their proper order and use them whichever way you want. How long did you take? A long time. At least three, four years yeah. minimum. Yeah. To learn to make sentences and use the way you want, maybe you took 12, 15 years. Much so longer than that, yes. So you gave so much just to learn some wordcraft. But to know something about the fundamental nature of your existence which could just change you dimensionally. You want to know it in two minutes. Why are you so unfair? No, I want to want to know where to start in two minutes. Okay. Where to start? Just do this much before you go to bed today. One thing is, every hour, okay? Remind yourself. Right now, it's going to be eight o'clock. Eight o'clock, remind yourself, wow, I'm still alive. No, don't laugh. So many people who go to bed today will not wake up tomorrow morning. More than a million people on the planet will not wake up tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, suppose you wake up. Yes, who knows? You always think it's not me, it's going to be somebody. Very cruel. <laughs> tomorrow morning, if you do wake up, first check, am I really awake, alive? I'm still alive, wow. Don't have to do anything, don't scream or something. Well, at least one big smile, okay, I'm still alive. Over a million people didn't wake up tonight, but here I am, alive. Fantastic or no? What is the biggest thing in your life? You're alive right now. So, you're still on tomorrow morning, just one smile, wow. Then maybe there are two, three, four people who matter to you much in your life, just check. He and she and that one and this one is alive. All alive, great! If one million people died tonight, which they do every night, at least ten million people lost somebody who was dear to them. But none of those who are very dear to you are gone today. Fantastic or no? Another big smile, don't tell anybody. Just smile, okay. Great. Eight o'clock in the morning, wow, eight o'clock, still alive. Every one hour, just do this exercise, okay? Every one hour, just remind yourself, check on. Please understand this. If you think about God, you will become hallucinatory. Only when you are conscious about your mortality, will you want to truly know the nature of this life. When you know, you're on right now and tomorrow morning you may be poof, gone. Now you want to know what the hell? What is this? I'm real right now, but tomorrow morning, gone. So many people who are so real and on, suddenly gone. Can't believe where did they go? But we thought about it for 10 minutes and then you got busy. Remind yourself of your own mortality let the question deepen. If you can do it every moment, it's great. If you cannot, at least once an hour, remind yourself that you're mortal. You're not immortal, you're mortal. If you know that you're mortal, suddenly you will see in a few days, you have no time to do any nonsense which doesn't mean anything to you. You will do only what really matters to your life. You have no time to do any rubbish with anybody. You will have time only to make the… do the best things that you want to do, what you truly care to do in your life and nothing other than that. And that's what you should be doing because it's a very limited amount of time. <laughs> I want you to know 
it's a very brief life. That is if you're a joyful person. If you're a miserable person, of course it's a long life. <laughs> so, if, if you're joyful, if you live for hundred years, it's gone too quickly. If you're miserable, what a long life you will live, you know. So it's a very brief life. You should not be doing anything other than what truly matters to you, isn't it? Yes or no? But you're doing so much nonsense which doesn't mean anything to you simply because you think you're immortal. Otherwise people are saying, no, I will live up to eighty, maybe hundred. So I will do this at seventy, I will, I will smile at my neighbor when I was seventy-five, you know, when all my work is done. When all the property issues are settled, <laughs> after that I'll smile at him. There is no such guarantee. Has anybody here come with a guarantee card for two days? No, you could be dead tomorrow morning. I'm not wishing that, I bless you with a long life. But it's possible, right? Every day it's happening to a million people means, can't it be you and me tomorrow morning, I'm asking? Yes or no? If you are conscious of your mortality, becoming aware will naturally happen because the significance of being alive will blossom. Dear Seekers, why do we cling to things that are transient? Have you ever considered the beauty in letting go? How can understanding impermanence deepen our spiritual journey? In the realm of spirituality, the concept of impermanence is a profound truth. It teaches us that everything in this universe, including our own existence, is in a constant state of flux. The leaves that blossom will eventually wither, the mountains that stand tall will one day erode, and the relationships we cherish will transform over time. This understanding of impermanence is not to evoke sadness, but to illuminate the beauty of the present moment. It is like watching a sunset, we don't mourn the passing of the sun, instead, we cherish its beauty, knowing well that it is fleeting. Consider, for instance, the life of a flower. It blooms, radiates beauty, and eventually wilts. In its short life, it brings joy and adds color to the world. In this same way, understanding the impermanence of our own existence can inspire us to live more fully, to appreciate each moment, and to embrace change as a natural part of life. In meditation, when we sit quietly and observe our thoughts, we see that they come and go like waves on the shore. This observation brings a profound realization, that our thoughts and emotions, much like everything else, are impermanent. This realization can be incredibly liberating. It allows us to experience life more deeply, without the fear of holding on or the pain of letting go. Impermanence also teaches us compassion. Knowing that everyone is undergoing constant change and facing the end of experiences, we develop a deeper empathy for the struggles of others. We become more patient, kind, and understanding, recognizing that just like us, others are also navigating through the transient journey of life. In embracing impermanence, we find a path to spiritual growth. It is in the acceptance of change, the understanding of transience, and the appreciation of each fleeting moment, that we find true wisdom and peace. As we journey through life, let us remember that the beauty of our existence lies not in permanence, but in the ever-changing, ever-evolving dance of life. Dear Seekers, continuing our exploration of impermanence and spirituality, let us delve deeper into the essence of this profound truth. Imagine a river, constantly flowing, never the same at any two moments. Like the river, our lives are in perpetual motion, evolving, growing, and changing. Just as we cannot step into the same river twice, we cannot experience the same moment again. 
This is the dance of impermanence, a dance of constant transformation that touches everything in the universe. In the face of such ceaseless change, one might ask, what remains constant? The answer lies within us, it is our awareness, the silent observer of the ever-changing panorama of life. This awareness, which observes the changing patterns of thoughts, emotions, and experiences, is our spiritual core, unaltered by the ebb and flow of life. This realization brings us to a profound spiritual awakening. When we identify not with the transient aspects of our being but with the eternal awareness that witnesses them, we find an anchor in the midst of life storms. This shift in perspective is the essence of spiritual growth. In everyday life, the practice of mindfulness helps us embody this understanding. When we eat, we can savor each bite, aware that the flavors are transient. In conversations, we can fully engage, knowing that each word and expression is unique and fleeting. Every moment becomes a meditation, a deep immersion in the now, filled with appreciation for the transient beauty of life. Furthermore, impermanence teaches us the value of detachment. Detachment does not mean disinterest or lack of love. It means engaging fully, loving deeply, but without clinging. It is like enjoying a beautiful piece of music, knowing that it will end, and finding peace in its conclusion. This understanding also enhances our relationships. When we acknowledge that every individual is on their own journey of change, we learn to appreciate them more, forgive more easily, and love more openly. We cherish the moments we have with them, knowing that these moments are precious and not guaranteed. The wisdom of impermanence also helps us face life's challenges with grace. In times of loss or sorrow, we remind ourselves that this too shall pass. We learn to embrace change, not as an enemy, but as a natural part of life's journey. This acceptance does not diminish our experience of pain but allows us to move through it with a deeper sense of peace and resilience. In the grand scheme of the universe, our time is but a fleeting moment. Yet, each moment is an opportunity to experience, to love, to grow, and to contribute. Embracing impermanence does not mean resigning to fate, it means living with a profound awareness that every moment is a gift, every experience is valuable, and every change is a chance for growth. Dear Seekers, always remember that impermanence is not a concept to be feared but a truth to be celebrated. It is a call to live deeply, love fully, and embrace the ever-changing tapestry of life with an open heart and an eternal spirit. In this understanding, we find not only peace but a profound joy in the exquisite impermanence of existence.